and American colleges today, are conservative ideas allowed? Shut it down! Shut it down! These students at Claremont College are angry because Heather McDonald was invited to speak. McDonald's a Manhattan Institute scholar who wrote the book The War on Cops. She argues that Americans are less safe because police, for fear of being called racist, back off. Thank you for your listening. At UCLA, she was allowed to give her Blue Lives Matter speech, and many in the audience applauded. <laughs> they did let you finish your speech. And then they stormed the stage. First, they just shouted, drowning out any possible questions. It has a party atmosphere. Some kids are smiling as they're turning the camera around and taping each other. I was almost an expectation that if you're a minority student on campus, you're there to protest. Eventually, the protesters took over the state. From UCLA, McDonald went to Claremont College. There, she was met with posters saying, shut down anti-black fascist Heather McDonald. This is preposterous. I have spent enormous amount of time in high crime minority neighborhoods talking to the good people there who are desperate for more police, who have a right to expect the same freedom from fear as people in safer neighborhoods take for granted. My agenda is to try to give voice to these people. To say that I'm anti-black is ridiculous. Nevertheless, activists formed a blockade in front of the lecture hall. They prevented anybody that had planned to hear me from entering. Joining us tonight is Heather McDonald. Strangely, McDonald's student host proceeded as if the hall were full of students. But it's just the two of you in the room. It was quite odd. McDonald's speech to the empty room was recorded for the internet, but no students could ask questions because they couldn't get past this protest. There's a school newspaper reporter going around with a camera trying to get opinions from people. And instead of expressing their viewpoint, they put their hand in front of his camera. I'm with the Claremont Independent, and I'm, I'm wondering if you might be willing to just tell me anything at all. Stephen, I'm with the Claremont. Okay, all right. The people exercising what is clearly historically fascist behavior, uh, which is in the case of the Berkeley riots, vandalizing, breaking glass, setting fires, beating people up, that they go under the moniker anti-fascists. Yeah, they call you a fascist. They call me a fascist. I have not tried to silence anybody. The atmosphere is one of academic freedom. Ronald Reagan once called Claremont a place that fostered discussion and debate. Learn to deal with controversy in both politics and economics. No more, says McDonald in this City Journal article titled From Culture to Cupcakes. College once promoted an understanding of Western culture. Today, there is an, an enormous bureaucratic infrastructure dedicated to teaching students that they're victims. She calls that the diversity bureaucracy. What do you mean diversity bureaucracy? UCLA has a vice chancellor for equity, diversity, and inclusion. That vice chancellor makes $445,000 a year. The Berkeley Division of Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion has a $20 million budget. Our biases disproportionately benefit certain groups and harm others. There's a codependency between the exploding diversity bureaucracy and these narcissistic delusional students who act out little psychodramas of oppression before an appreciative audience of diversity Psychodramas bureaucrats. of oppression? Absolutely. These students... They think they're oppressed. They're and they, well, they think they're oppressed. Do, well, do we believe in objective reality? Is anybody stuff. allowed to say that they are not oppressed? Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! They sincerely, I think, believe this is a racist society. There's the history of racism in America that it's stacked against them by us white people. But 
I take issue with the unthinking charge that we remain racist today. But we white people run Western society. We have a head start. We have the most money. It's not fair. Develop some sense of perspective. You have at your fingertips every book that has ever been written. You're surrounded by a beautiful campus. These students who are among the most privileged human beings in human history to be at an American college with educational resources available to them that the Renaissance humanists would have killed for actually think of themselves as victims. And that to me is a very sad state of delusion.